This video is on um, finding an area, complex area, using AutoCAD with a technique involving the boundary command and regions. Now I'm going to start with finding the area of this foundation wall. We've got um, a couple of things going on. We've got the footing. I think I'll freeze the footing. Okay, now we've got the foundation wall. Let's get the user coordinate system icon out of the way. Oops, UCS icon off. Okay, what I want to do is find the area at the top of that footing, at the top of that foundation wall, top of those posts, but I don't want the area of the space inside here and that space inside there. Technique I'm going to use involves the boundary command. BO is the alias for boundary. When it comes up, you have two kinds of objects that can create, be created with boundary. One kind is a polyline, the other is a region. We want the region. Pick a point select just inside the outermost area. Everything highlights indicating that all these islands were created. When we get done, it tells me we've created seven regions. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now in order to create a single object that we can find the area of, I'm going to start by subtracting SU as the alias from the outside shape, the inside shape. Now I have a single object representing that entire shape. It does not yet have that taken out, it doesn't have that taken out, it doesn't have that added in, but it's a single surface and the area of that top edge right there, including all that space around there, we could find using the area command. Give you a better sense of what that looks like. Let's go ahead and copy this off to the side. That's what I've created. So if I select this one object, it's all one object that has like a hole in it. We say, what's the area of that object? That gives me the total area in square inches and in square feet of the top of that. Now that's the total area of the top of the surface. If I want to remove these pieces in here, I'm going to go back. Remember, I copied this and subtract from this each one of these. Now I have a single object representing just that top surface of eight inches thick all the way around, including around here, all as one object. Now what I can do is to union that, 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 and that. Now all those things together are a single object in AutoCAD. Copy that one as well. Gotta bring it up here. Now that one object has an area, so I can type AA for area, O for object, and then I select it, and it'll give me the total area of everything, including the tops of those posts. Take a look at a different example, the gusset plate. Go to the gusset plate. Once again, I'm going to freeze a few layers. Can't freeze a layer if it's current. Freeze a few layers like so. Now here's a great example of when you might want to use this technique, because there's so many circles. Boundary pick point, select the point inside, enter. 36 regions were created, 35 holes and one outside plate. Subtract from the plate all the holes. Now I have a single object. That single object, let's scale that up just a little bit just because there's my single object. So now if I want the area of that single object, area, O for object, pick it, it tells me the area in square units. Perimeter, which is the area on the outside, the outside perimeter. But that's the area in square units when this thing is done. Now, the reason I use the boundary command with regions and then subtract it is because the area command itself doesn't allow you to subtract objects by using a window. This is the latest release of AutoCAD, and it will uh, be coming out soon. They've announced it. They've announced the characteristics, so I can show you a little bit about it right now. It's called, Gata, uh, <coughs> called AutoCAD Beta. Um, I'm going to do the same thing I uh, did before, but instead of creating regions and then using the subtract command, I'm going to go to the area command. The area command allows you to add an area. So I say add O for object, and I pick this. Highlights the whole thing. When I'm done, I press enter. Now I type S and then objects, and it's now instead of asking to select objects, <coughs> um, I mean object, saying select objects, you might think you can then put a window around it, but there is no window function. Type a W, doesn't know what you're talking about. But unlike past releases, when you select things 
it actually highlights them so that you can tell as you're selecting. To me, this is a lot more trouble than the other technique. So we'll just follow it through to make the point. Since you can't grab them all at once, and you can't grab one of them 35 times and know for sure that you've done it 35 times, the best way to do it is to grab each one of them like so until you have all of them. There are only 35 holes in this one. Imagine if there were 3,500 holes. Anyway, it will give you the area. Look at the difference. So let's say I want to subtract from this region, window, all of those things right there. What's the area of the last object I created? Bang, you're done.